and so are they in Tallahassee. Up goes the tip, and Wake Forest wearing the gray uniforms on the road. A big part of this team the last couple of years as well. She is not available today due to health and safety protocol. Exactly, so that's going to be a big thing to watch as Florida State starts off quickly against that Wake Forest zone. And some viewers might be turning this game on, Jen, and seeing, wow, Florida State, they're 6-6, six and six, they're 0-2 in ACC right. play. This is a team that's almost always finishing in the, in the top five or four in the ACC. It's just been tough to practice at times. At times, they've only had one guard or they've had seven players. They have had some bad luck when it comes to COVID and injuries. So that explains, at least as part of the explanation for their slow start. She is a great athlete. She's a great shooter. She can do everything. She has a complete skill set. But she always keeps you on your toes, whether she's going to shoot the three, attack the rim. And you can see she is indeed wearing the mask, which is part of the rules and regulations that when you've been in COVID protocol, that's sometimes what has to happen. And Florida State going down the floor, getting two points. It's been surprising to see them struggle. And Jen, I've loved the energy that FSU has played with to start this game. Defensively, getting out and running. She's an incredible athlete. Look at her just take this ball the length of the floor. Takes her about six dribbles to go the length of the floor, gets the rebound, finishes on the other end. I love the emotion. Certainly not just the three-point shooter, Jewel Spears, who somehow was quick to point that out when we were talking about how they would try to defend her. And Morgan Jones going off again. Just being a pest on Jewel Spears. She's going to have the ball in her hands so much. If you chase her around, you just got to try to make her uncomfortable throughout the game. And the Seminoles have come out firing. Makes that quick extra pass. Open look for Aaron Howard. Seminoles, seven of nine to start the game. Good curl and drive to the basket. Harrison did start the last game for the Demon Deacons with Elise Williams out. Her first start since November 12th. Had seven points, four rebounds, along with a couple of assists. There's a good look for Mora on the inside. I was talking to her about this on the Zoom. Wake is a team, when she was a player in the late 80s, they made the tournament. And then they really struggled for the next two and a half decades. Another one of those X-Factor type players who when she gets healthy and gets some more practices consistently, can be so dangerous. And Gordon on the floor right now for Florida State having to wear those masks coming off of COVID protocol. Weber turned around, left open, has her first points of the game. Wake Forest trying to get one shot here. And I kind of wondered if Coach Hoover, you probably don't want to waste the time out, but you don't have Jewel Spear in there, so you don't really have your go-to ISO player. She was really impressive versus North Carolina in that big top 20 matchup in which NC State just blew out UNC. And then for Miami, they were supposed to play Louisville. So you go from one red team with a bunch of McDonald's all. NC State with a big win over North Carolina. Had that game on ACCN. And good defense right there on Myers. Just nowhere for her to go, but they go back out to Weber who knocks down the three. FSU did a really good job of guarding ball screens so far. They've hedged, they've trapped, they haven't made many mistakes going under on shooters. I've been impressed with their ball screen defense. Florida State still comfortably out in front. They get back to a double digit lead thanks to Weber. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so they are in man to man now. I like the play-by-play -play of the technology as well. <laughs> you don't know, no, I'm just waiting to see. <laughs> this team, with the players they have, like a Courtney Weber, like a Bianca Jackson, he's not even available today, but Morgan Jones. I mean, these are the names that we knew coming back. Backdoor cut was there. Puis is open, but a little deep under the basket. Samil left open for three. Rattles it around and in. All-American at Florida State. A seminal legend and did such a great job last year as Valencia Myers just continues to score. All right, now this Florida State defense has made life difficult for Jewel Spears. She got just enough separation that time, Kelly, to get herself the points. Nice job there just to keep that in bounds by Michaela Timpson. She was falling out, now she gets it back. Well, that's a well-deserved two points for the freshman out of Edison, Georgia. 6'2", but had probably wingspan is much longer than that. Super athletic. Even saw some videos on social media of Michaela Timpson dunking. 
Gordon back running the point for Florida State, working off some screens, got into the paint, saw an open Howard for three. I feel like that name is just meant for you, Kelly, to have so much fun with. O-M-G. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Shout out to her parents. That, I love it. I love that we can abbreviate her name like that. Florida State working it around, just about everybody touching the basketball. Under 10 on the shot clock now, but Jetty will take the three and make it. Defensive stands as well. Great first half. Maybe the best we've seen from this Florida State team this season. Good answer there from Wake Forest. No one boxed Howard. Howard had a wide open lane to get that offensive board. Spear just showing it off. The crossover, the Nola, give her that assist. An open teammate. She gets in the lane. Valencia Myers comes up because she has. Can we drop a fear of the spear on an assist? I feel like that one was worthy. Oh, yeah, I think so. And Jen, uh, there are no rules. We can say fear the spear. <laughs> Morgan Jones. That's interesting. You don't normally see that call, but by the letter of the law, if you have fallen down in the lane, you've probably been in there for two seconds. <laughs> They were so much quicker to get into their secondary break and trying to get the ball up the floor quicker, even on an FSU make. And it feels like in this game, they're playing a lot slower. I I'm sure part of that is you want to keep FSU out of transition. She does so much more than just knocking down threes. She's also a really good rebounder, as you mentioned, having to play out of position at the four last year. And it's just so crucial, too, when you have someone like Puisis, and there's OMG finding her again. Sammy Puisis is feeling it and she struggled to get any calls. So that's been a big issue for the Deeks. The free throw line was the main reason why they were able to get back in this game when they played Florida State back on December 30th. A little short on that three-point attempt and box out that time. Hines wasn't gonna make that mistake twice. Rebounding is certainly an area of focus for most teams as Harrison takes advantage. From Wake Forest. So I think the free throw line is where you start. Jen, this still is a, a massive deficit, so you're going to have to hit some threes. But the free throw line is where it starts. But look, if you don't get stops. It's just her seventh appearance of the season, so good to see her back out there. Number 33 for the Seminoles. A tough pass inside. Hines makes the most of it. She was excellent in the first matchup versus FSU. and just haven't really seen that production in this game. Well, the Seminoles just kept after it. Eventually, it is Howard who puts it back. NC State Miami coming up next. The Hurricanes having to shift their scouting report focus. Because when you're the opposing team, your shoot around's generally like 6.30 in the morning for a noon game. So even just little things like that are having to be changed during this, this season. They were outscored 24 to six in the third quarter. So trying to get a better finish. Defensively though, they leave Baldwin, miss the easy one, makes the tougher one. Jones tiptoeing along the baseline, the reverse is good. There are very few players in women's college basketball that can do something like that. Morgan Jones is one of the most athletic players in the country to tiptoe the sideline, to elevate, somehow get under the basket, and finish with the right hand, wow. Jones, behind the back, with her left hand, making it another wow. Easy. But there is a reason that by both coaches and media that this team was picked in the top five in the preseason polls in this league. Timpson. All the way down the court. Spear has had a rough afternoon. We know she can do that. She's at an even 10 points now, Jewel Spear. Had a 40 point game earlier in the season. Tied for the second most points ever. Vegetti with the ball in her hands for the Seminoles. Takes it all the way to the basket. The transfer out of Arizona State. And Sarah Vegetti, who didn't start today, but has played a majority of the minutes at point guard because Omaria Gordon is still returning and working her way back from health and safety protocols. But I like this point guard duo. Wake is so much better than this performance. We, we know that. I think in some ways that goes without saying. But 
they do have to find a way to both nickel on this film, but also flush it. And then at Pitt and against Clemson, who's in a tight game right now against Boston College. We asked, which spear would we fear? And Florida State proving emphatically that today it is that of the Seminoles.